Hi, and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to do a, uh, a retake of a, of a previous um, video that I did, just because I do get a lot of um, um, questions from people regarding the repair. This is actually, it's irrelevant what kind of vehicle it is, this is actually going to be a windshield repair. It's going to be a repair of the windshield without replacing the windshield. Uh, it's a kit that I actually have to, uh, to repair fractures in the window. As long as they're no bigger than the size of a quarter, they can be repaired. So let me show you what this looks like, and we're going to go up front and we're going to get started. Okay. This is what the fracture looks like. I know it's a little bit difficult to see, but that's pretty much what it looks like. So uh, let me get the uh, the kit. I'm going to get all set up, and I'm going to take you along, and you can uh, you can see uh, exactly how I do it step by step. I can see that you see my light in the window right there. All right, um, let me get set up, and we'll come right back. Okay. Not sure exactly how this is going to come out, so you can see it, but I'm going to show you anyway. We'll see how it goes. That's the fracture in the window. You can see the reflection inside the glass right here. What we're going to do is we're going to set up this tool that we actually have to repair it. And what it does is it actually fits right over the top of the fracture itself. And we're going to suck out any air that's inside there first. So that we have to center this over the top of the windshield like that. I'm going to turn a little bit so maybe you can see it. Hopefully you can see that pretty decent in there now. You can still see a fracture right inside there. And what we're going to do is we're going to set our, uh, our tool up on there. What you've got to do is we need to lubricate the seal on here. Like this. Just a little bit of grease on the seal. It's a special lubricant that comes with the machine itself. We're going to put one drop of resin just on that lower seal right there. And we're just going to put the unit together. Screw this together like this. And we need to put the, the resin pump over the top like this just until it comes in contact with the window. You don't want to go too hard because you'll fracture the window and you'll be changing the whole, the whole window. You're just going to center it over the top of the fracture. And then we're just going to pull a vacuum on it to get out all the air that's trapped in the window. We're going to pump it three times and then we're going to lock it in the up position. And we'll leave it sit for a second or two. Now what that's doing now is it's pulling out any air that's trapped in the window itself. And after a uh, couple of seconds, it'll suck out whatever air is in there. Actually, it should be a, probably a couple of minutes. So, you know, well, let's just uh, come right back. We're going to let this suck out some air, and we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, now after the air is pulled out of the window, we're going to hold the resin pump. We're going to loosen up the thumb wheel, and we're going to let the resin flow into the window. And you can see it's starting to disappear in there. We're going to let that sit for just a minute to let that resin flow into the window. Once that resin has flowed in throughout all those little tiny passageways, then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to put the ultraviolet light on it. So let's let this sit for just a minute. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see it. Let me see. I don't know if that's going to do anything. 
but you can see that it's almost totally gone right now. So we're going to let that resin flow in there and then we're going to come right back. Okay, now what we do is we have our ultraviolet light connected up on here and the ultraviolet light is actually going to cure all that resin that was into the window there itself. So we're going to let three minutes on this side, three minutes on that side, three minutes on that side, and then we'll come back and we're going to take this resin pump off and I'll show you what that looks like after we clean it up a little bit. So uh, we're going to let this sit for a little bit and then we'll come back in a couple of minutes. Now you normally don't need this rag over the top here. The reason I'm doing that is because the company name is actually on here. That's why I have the rag laying over the top of it. So three minutes on this side. And then we'll come back and we're going to switch it to this side over here. And uh, we'll wrap it up. Okay, and now once that UV light has cured the, uh, the resin, we're going to take that off. going to clean off any of that residual that's on there. We are going to clean this off later on just so you know. Okay, we're going to put one drop of the pit sealer on the fracture area. Put it on just like that. And then what you put it do, you do is you put a tab of, of plastic over it like that. And then we're going to put the UV light back on again. We're going to put the UV light over it. And we're going to let that light cure that spot again for three minutes and then when we come back we'll take that paper off and we'll clean it up so uh, we'll be back in three minutes okay okay once we've got three minutes of curing time on there we take our our light back off and now what we do is we come in here with a uh, with a razor blade and lift that tab off and that's just, this is just water right here. And we come in here and we scrape this. That's how hard this resin actually gets. going to bug me that drop of water on the inside so let me just clean that up and we'll come back here. Okay now after we've gotten that finished to that point we take one drop of polish and we just put a drop of polish on here like that And then you just rub it. And that is what your finished product looks like after the repair is done. You can see, I know that light is blinding there, but that's pretty much what it looks like now after the repair is done. You can see it very slightly but probably only 5% of the fracture is still visible. The rest of it is all done and, and sealed. And 
the best part is that this part on the outside here is now smooth. You don't have any rough surface any longer. It's nice and smooth, so nothing's going to get in there, and it's not going to spread any further than it is. All right, that's pretty much it. That's how I fixed the window instead of replacing them. And um, if anybody needs any information, send me an email or, uh, or give me a call, and we can talk about it. All right, as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.